shit. It's a bathroom tour. Newer cruise ship designs seem to favor smaller and smaller bathrooms, and the Scarlet Lady is no exception. Here are some things you should know before you go. While the shower had a nice relaxing rain head, it also had a very powerful shower wand that is perfect for blowing sand out of your muffler. The shower overall was a good size. It had a glass door that pushed inward or pulled outward, and not having a shower curtain sticking to you was nice. We heard about people having issues with the shower door leaking and flooding the bathroom. We took notice of the heavy duty door seal around the shower door. When the shower was in use, as long as we didn't push the door too far out, we had no problem with it leaking. The toilet was of standard size with enough suction to pull the devil right out of you. However, as you can see, the overall width of the bathroom can be a problem for more fluffy cruisers. One of the more annoying aspects of the bathroom was the placement of the toilet paper holder. It was mounted underneath the counter and due to the width of the bathroom it was hard to access. No one wants to struggle for toilet paper after laying down hate, so we found it easier to keep the toilet paper on the counter. Also, to avoid a concussion when pulling up your pants, keep the shower door open. As you can see, the bathroom has very limited counter space. Besides a small cutout in the counter itself, there is next to no storage located in the room. A positive of the sink area is that it has a very bright backlit mirror that was perfect for shaving or when doing makeup. Please note, there are no electrical plugs in the bathroom. Bathroom pros consist of a well-lit mirror, a large shower, and the shower wand pressure is excellent. Bathroom cons consist of the overall size being small, the lack of counter space, and of course the lack of storage. Let us know what you thought of the bathroom in the comments below.